Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today we have the A15 from AISO, I think they're called, or Noai Toys, whoever they are. And it's the A15HW, so this is the Wi-Fi version. It's got 720p camera and it's a foldable drone. I've been sent this from Banggood to review, so thanks very much for that. Let's see what you get in the box. In the box you get set prop guards. Take the cover off. You get a charging cable and some spare props. Half a set because there's eight props in total because it's folding. The controller and the drone. So let's have a quick look at the drone. So the drone is a folding drone. It folds out to a decent size actually. It's quite a decent size when it unfolds. So as you can see. I love the colour. It's like a red colour. It's red metallic with like a design on the top and on the arms. It has a 720p camera that is fully movable, which is nice to see. Sometimes these things have a stupid angle on the camera, but at least you can move this one. It has brushed motors, brushed geared motors, and it has folding props that are just screwed in there. It comes with one battery, which I believe is, just let me double check this, it's an 800 milliamp hour battery. And I was getting six to seven minute flight times out of it. It says five to seven, I was getting, I got six and a half, I think it was, and then seven on my second flight. So it does exactly what it says in the tin, to be fair. That's a medium pace flying. So you're gonna see some video footage at the end of me flying this. There's not that much footage and there's not that much footage in the camera because the weather in the UK is absolutely horrendous. The camera's like you'd expect on one of these it records to your phone so it does drop some frames and it's not the best camera in the world. You'll see I've got about 30 seconds of footage from the camera and a couple of minutes of maybe three minutes of flight time so you can get an idea what the camera looks like. The drone itself flies really nicely. It's very smooth in the air, it's responsive, it has three flight modes, three flight speeds sorry, and it's got 3D flips. I'll just run through the controller with you. So it has a phone holder here and then on here you have a reset button, you've got your on and off button, photo, video, headless mode, automatic return, and these are your trim buttons. And then on the back, you had, the light doesn't seem to do anything, but it's got three speed modes and it's got flip button. It takes two AA batteries in the back. The control is actually nice in your hand and the sticks feel decent enough. Nice bit of spring to them. It's obviously altitude hold. So it returns to the centre. Let's just power it up and show it you. So that's the drone. Turn the controller on. So it has LEDs in the front, two white arm ones and two red ones. These aren't the brightest LEDs in the world. You can't actually see the arm ones very well. These seem okay and you can pick these up, but the arm ones aren't very bright at all. And it's got Interestingly, one here, which is strange. The controller binds automatically straight, typical type of controller, up, up and down on your throttle, will bind it. So let me just show you the app. So the app it runs on is the XA UFO app. So that's the app it runs on. And strangely, when you connect this thing to the Wi-Fi, it pulls it as JJRC, so there's obviously same camera module or JJRC to a drone, very similar to this. So just let that connect to its network and then go into the app. And there you go. The app just crashed on me, which is nice, isn't it? Let's just make sure the app works. It plays. There you go. Probably because I've just flown it and I didn't show the app down, which was a bit stupid of me. So there you go. It's got a bit late, but it's not horrendous as you can see, and the image isn't that bad. But the camera footage does have a bit of jello, and obviously it's 720p recording to your phone. So whatever dropouts you get on the drone, on your phone when you're watching, when you're viewing it, so Wi-Fi, you're gonna get the dropouts when you're recording. Not a lot you can do about that. So that's the app, and obviously you can, if you want, you can fly it. This is your typical app, this you can fly it with the app. With the app itself there's your record button on the top here 
and then you've got to take a photo on there. Now the buttons on here for your video and photo, as you can see, don't start or stop anything. So I'm guessing this remote may be for something else as well that you can use this for, but I can't get these to work. But having said that, I've not really had one of these toy grades that do. So that's the app. So that's basically the drone. These little bits here pop out on the side here. If you can see, they're just pulling them out. And then when you pull them out, you can plug in the prop guards. I don't use prop guards, but if you're learning and you want to apply this thing indoors, definitely use the prop guards. It's stable enough that with about three or four mile an hour wind when I was flying it outside on the video, you're going to see it's fine. do not seem to bother with the wind at all. The motors seem powerful enough, and as I say, you get like six and a half to seven minutes. So, thanks very much for watching. If you're interested in this, there's a link below, and it is on the flash sale, I believe, now at Vanguard for just over £30. So, if you are interested in it, please use my link. Thanks ever so much for watching. Enjoy the video, it's coming up, and have a fantastic day.